Whispers of the Past. Chapter 9, The Ancestral Truths. Kira's journey had led her not only through the physical landscapes of her ancestral village, but also through the ethereal pathways of its history. The pendant she carried was more than a mere heirloom. It was a symbol of her lineage's guardianship and a repository of unresolved agony. The village elders, with somber tones and eyes that remembered too much, recounted the tale of the pendant's creation and its unintended descent into curse. Long ago, Kira's ancestor, a shaman respected and revered, had created the pendant to protect the village. Infused with the spirits of nature, it was meant to be a bulwark against malevolent forces. However, peace turned to chaos when a trusted confidant, driven by envy and desire for power, betrayed the shaman. This individual, who once fought alongside the shaman against the dark spirits, secretly conspired with outsiders, planning to overthrow the village leadership and claim the pendant's power. In a harrowing night, cloaked under the darkness of a new moon, the confidant led a band of marauders into the heart of the village, only to be repelled by the shaman's might and the pendant's light. The resulting conflict not only led to the confidant's demise, but their spirit's entrapment within the jade pendant, their malevolence growing as centuries passed. The shaman, heartbroken by the betrayal and the tumult it caused, realized the pendant could no longer reside within the village's peaceful bounds. They left carrying the pendant far away, hoping to prevent the betrayer's spirit from wreaking further havoc on their home and loved ones. It was a sacrifice that seared into the village's collective memory, a story of protection turned to exile. Kira's grandmother, Lin, who had inherited the shaman's sensitivity to the spirit world, also inherited the pendant and its restless inhabitant. Lin, a young woman of strong spiritual fortitude, bore the whispers and chill of the spirit's anger, understanding its desire for release. Yet she too was tormented by the whispers, the weight of its anger and the storm of its pain. Her attempts at rituals were met with resistance, the spirit, ever distrustful after the betrayal, refused solace from another of the shaman's blood. With the pendant's departure, the village had suffered. It was as if a part of their spirit had been ripped away, leaving them incomplete. The lush fields and bountiful harvests began to dwindle. The villagers believed that the land's vitality was tied to the pendant's presence. Yet, they also knew the pendant housed a vengeful spirit that could bring destruction, if not appeased. Lin, foreseeing the importance of her granddaughter's role in this legacy, passed the pendant to Kira, trusting in her ability to bring closure to this painful chapter. Now, with the pendant's return, the village felt the stir of ancient powers and a glimmer of hope that balance could be restored. The elders explained the necessity of the ritual. Kira must commune with the spirit, share in its centuries of loneliness and fury, and ultimately offer it the release it craved. Assisted by the current village shaman, Kira prepared for the complex ritual. The night was chosen with care, aligning with the same lunar cycle as the night of betrayal, for cycles have power, and endings must reflect beginnings. As the village gathered, forming a circle around Kira and the shaman, a hush fell. The air seemed to thin, and the world held its breath. The ritual began with the lighting of incense, the chanting of ancient verses, and the careful arrangement of sacred symbols. Kira, holding the pendant in her outstretched hands, felt its pulse quicken. She closed her eyes, and the whispers of the past grew louder. In her mind's eye, the tale unfolded, the joy of the shaman creating the pendant, the pain of betrayal, and the sorrow of an ensuing exile. The spirit's memories became her own, its betrayal, her betrayal, 
its anguish her anguish. As the chant reached its crescendo, Kira felt the full power of the pendant surging through her. The village blurred as she was drawn into the spirit's memories, reliving the moments that had led to its torment. She felt the shaman's love for the village, the depth of their trust, and the cut of the betrayal as if it were fresh. The spirit's pain was raw, its sorrow profound. To free it, Kira realized she must offer not just understanding, but also forgiveness 